This is Tommy's Breaks. Welcome everyone to video number 18 of Tommy's Breaks Subbox Blitz, where I'm opening and reviewing 20 different baseball card subscription boxes. I want to thank you all for watching, and if this is your first visit to the channel, or you haven't yet already, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate the support. If you aren't familiar with what the Subbox Blitz is all about, I'll leave a link in the description and also above here to video number one where I explain things in a bit more detail. All right, let's get into the break. Today we have the premier box from Ninth Inning Crates. And I believe this box is from October, maybe? October, November? Somewhere in that time frame. Like many other products and boxes, these folks are also on a little hiatus, I believe. But from what I recall, these boxes were quite a bit of fun. This cost, I believe at the time, $125. And when they're active, you can find out more on any of the social media platforms that you like. They're usually listed under Ninth Inning Crates. Facebook.com slash Ninth Inning Crates. I know they're definitely on Instagram as well. Uh, let's see what we've got. Probably missed out on something. <laughs> That's too bad. That was a raffle ticket, I think, for like a PSA 10 Luis Robert rookie, I think. We have nine total packs. Let's see what they are. 2020 Fire, 2019 Bowman, Tops Chrome Jumbo, Allen and Ginter, Bowman Draft, Jumbo, 2020 Bowman Chrome, 2019 Bowman Chrome, 2020 Stadium Club, and Heritage High Number. All right, let's kick it off with some Stadium Club. Mike Soroka, Zach Collins, Austin Hayes, Bubba Starling, We had two there. Kyle Schwarber. Shohei Otani in the wings. Oop. Jeez. Throwing them around. Marcus Stroman and Daryl Strawberry. Let's take a look at some 19 Heritage High Number. Kendrys Morales, Kevin Ploiecki, perhaps, Alex Reyes, Pedro Avila, Hank Aaron, number 600, Rio Ruiz, AJ Pollock, Matt Adams, Craig Kimbrell. I want some Allen and Ginter. I had a lot of fun with the uh, Chrome. The Chrome Ginters. Got a really lucky hit out of that box. Correa, Syndergaard, Henry Aaron, Hudson, Kenny Lofton, Boyd, 
Matt Boyd. And Albert Pujols. With some fire. With some fire from the fire. A little Kershaw. Marte. You got a purple Sanchez. Out of 99, Gary Sanchez. Salvi Perez. We'll put them out there. Uh, Chapman and the Eloy. I think I'm going to save the Jumbos. Twenty nineteen Bowman Christian Yelich Will Myers Pilar Martinez. All right, I did this before. It's not an actual auto, right? Still a cool Joy Dell. Edward Cabrera, Cal Quantrill, Brendan Rogers, and Dez. Okay. 19 Bowman Chrome. Pardino. Edward Evelsley. Jameson, Hannah, Refractor, David Peralta, and Clayton Kershaw. All right, let's see what we got in here. Ooh, we might have an auto. Steel Walker. Is that his name for real? Pache. Akiyama. Buster Posey. Is this just a refractor? Oh, it's just a numbered Toblio. We'll pop him out there. Okay. So, I believe, I don't know what's going to be where, but we should have a better hit opportunities in these packs. For sure. Chris Murphy. Matt Walner. Evan White. Brendan Malone. Arias. Espr Bingo, Mitchell, Joey Bart, Agnos, JJ Blade, and Eric Rivera. And Chromes, Wang Mears. Oh, I see a blue, I think. Brandon Lewis. Brett Beatty, Betty, and Refractor. That happens to me <laughs> more often than you'd think. Bryant Packard. We've got a franchise futures of CJ Abrams and Josh Mears, maybe. I think this is a Marlins. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Oh, JJ Lede. Joshua Mears, yeah. 
All right. Out of 150. Bryant Packard, Andrew Vaughn, and Eric Miller. Okay, last little part of this Bowman Jumbo Tebow Race Trang Capel Tyler Fitzgerald Logan Wyatt and Julio Rodriguez Top Chrome Jumbo Harder to not get a hit than it is to get a hit, I think. <laughs> and we might have managed to do that. Uh, Domingo Liba. Chris Paddock. Travis, <clears throat> excuse me, Demerit. Colin Moran. Alex Bregman. Got a freshman flash of AJ Puck. Refractor of Christian Walker. Tim Anderson. Prism Refractor, I think. Decent. Mookie Betts. Arenado. Correa. Antleton Simmons. And Bryce Harper. So let's do a quick recap. No major hits out of this ninth inning crates, although there were certainly a lot of opportunities. Just lady luck wasn't there. Uh, a couple of numbered prospect cards, J.J. Blade and Toglia. Uh, and we had this numbered Gary Sanchez out of uh, fire. Grabbed a few others. Uh, Tim Anderson, Prism Refractor, Joey Bart, uh, Akiyama, Pache, Kershaw, the always going to throw me off Bowman fake autos, <laughs> Joe Adele, Eloy, Pujols, Hank Aaron, and Shohei Otani. Let's jump into the review. So we had nine packs here at $125 price point comes to just under $14 a pack. And this is not the highest price per pack we have seen on this tier. I have to account for things like jumbo packs in some of my sort of assessment here. And there were two of them in this box. So I don't... Uh, I want to make sure we keep that in mind. That said, the selection was was still of good solid packs. I'm going to give the value a four. In terms of appearance, you know, I love the look and feel and the branding of Ninth Inning Crates. I think they've uh, done a, an excellent job on that front. Uh, they include a few supplies. And there was also a, a, a ticket for an entry into a raffle, which they were doing um, previously. Similar to other boxes, I th think there could always be a little bit more information about the pack selection and who's there and just the additional information that could be included. And it's sort of a little bit lacking here. So on appearance, all things considered, I'm going to give this box a four. In terms of pack selection, I don't really have any complaints. You know, I think it's it's a bit of a mix. There's a couple of the, what I would classify as lower end hobby packs. And then some nice mid-tier. There's a little bit of chrome mixed in. The jumbos are a nice touch. Uh, pretty consistent. I'm, I'm overall happy. I'm going to give the pack selection a four. In terms of overall experience, you know, I'm relatively happy. I always enjoyed opening the ninth inning crates. You can't always get hits, right? And I've tried very hard to not 
let the outcome of the box impact how I'm trying to assess them. So, you know, no major hits on this one, but still a fun box. I, I enjoy the pack selection. Overall experience, I'm going to give a four. That's going to bring the total for the ninth inning crates box to a 16 out of 20. This is a pretty respectable score so far in this tier. Second highest score attained to this point with two boxes to go. So that's going to do it for this ninth inning crates premier box break. Don't forget to smash the like if you enjoyed the break. And if you'd like to see more like this and you haven't yet, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Turn on the notifications and tune in tomorrow where we take a look at the Big Bat Box Diamond Edition, which is a brand new box to me. I've yet to open one of those. If you have any suggestions or anything else you'd like to share with me, please do so in the comments below. I appreciate you coming along for the journey and I hope you return again soon. This is Tommy. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you next time.